All right, point number five is going to be spacing to the ball. Now, it's very important for a golfer to get the right distance, otherwise the arc that was created around the stroke is going to give inaccuracy to the shot. So if you're too far away from a ball, you have to do an inside and then you have to come back on the inside and you cannot get through the line for the follow through. So if we're too far, we don't get that follow through again down the line. If we're too close to a ball, we're forced to come outside to inside, which means we're going to be slicing that ball off to that right side or just pulling it around the corner where we haven't got any ability to use our rotation. So we need to get that distance where when you've got your posture, your arms should be hanging straight down as if it's like a piece of rope just hanging down there. That's the distance we want to have the, the arms. So if I introduce the club in that position, that's how far you should be from the ball uh, without feeling like there's any extension or going out. Now for a squash, same thing. If I'm too close and I'm in here, it doesn't enable me to throw that racket down the path. And again, if I'm too far, it's all gonna be flicking. I can't again extend. So for me, I had a three hybrid there. That distance, if I'm in that squat position, would if I drop the ball, pretty much hit that golf ball there as it's in that three hybrid sort of distance for the ideal swing. So that's step number five, keeping spacing from the ball.